Big day in the courtroom for Mike Hubbard. The Mike Hubbard trial heating up in Opelika. Today, the court heard from a friend and former advisor for the Alabama House Speaker. CBS 42 News reporter Mike McClanahan is live in Opelika with a wrap up of today's testimony. Mike? Sherry, this is by far the most emotional testimony to date in this trial, and it's coming from Mike Hubbard's former chief of staff. That would be Josh Blades. At some point while he was on the witness stand, he became so emotional that court had to take a brief recess. According to testimony from Mike Hubbard's former chief of staff, Josh Blades, in 2013, state health officer Don Williamson had a plan to save money by moving to a managed pharmacy plan for Medicaid. But independent pharmacies thought it would cut into their bottom line. A group Hubbard contracted with, ACPI, supported a different plan to let pharmacies run that program. Blades said he didn't find out about Hubbard's contract until that plan had already been added to the general fund budget while the House was in session. The former staffer testified he told Hubbard not to vote on it, but said the speaker told him it would raise too many red flags if he didn't vote on his own budget. Blades said he was upset about that situation in a different instance, he testified Hubbard told him to help a person get a patent through the U.S. Patent Office. Blades said Hubbard told him he had, quote, 100,000 reasons to get this done, end quote. Now, on cross-examination, defense attorney Bill Baxley pointed out that Mike Hubbard changed his mind about that ACPI legislation and only voted for it after he knew that it would be taken out of the final budget. Live in Opelika, Mike McClanahan, CBS 42 News.